Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we'll be creating the final ability for our greeting character and this is going to be his ultimate and let's just start by creating a new folder and call this ultimate okay and as always we're going to start by creating our gameplay ability class search for gameplay ability and select this one okay I'm gonna call this GA ultimate okay so for this ability what I want to do is um, just spawn an actor and this is going to apply damage over time so I'm just going to say spawn actor from class and when we have spawned this actor what I'm going to do is just simply um, end my ability okay and we are going to create this um, actor for this ability and just right click over here and create a grouping class of the type actor and we call this bp underscore ultimate okay save this and open this up so this is going to be our um, visuals as well as damage application um, blueprint so what i'm going to do is add a few static meshes static mesh and this is going to be sm1 and this is going to be my um, just search for circle this one okay so this is like the ground plane for that and this is not going to have any collisions just remember to make these to no collisions oops sorry this is going to be another static mesh okay sm2 and this is going to be um, this one okay and i'm going to move this just slightly upwards okay not too worried about the visuals or the cosmetics of this but hey we need these okay so this is going to be sm3 and this is going to be this one okay and we are going to expand this as oops we're going to expand this like so okay and just make sure all of these don't have any collisions that could cause problems okay and we also need a sphere component this one okay so this is going to be tracing like uh, if player have entered this or not so i'm going to change this to 350 um, and we're going to change these accordingly this one so this is going to be about this big and this one is going to be about um this big okay and going to our event graph what i want to do is just delete this and change this to overlap only pawns um this one okay and create an event for begin overlap and create an event for end overlap so for begin overlap what i want to do is first i'm going to check if the actor is not equal this one and i'm going to get my instigator this one and if this is not equal okay so what i want to do is check if this actor has a valid ability system component and i will say is valid okay and if this is valid what i want to do is say apply oops is it a drag from here apply gameplay effect spec to target okay this is not going to be target and this is going to be get a better system component our instigator is going to be the source of the application of this gameplay effect and i'm drawing from here and say promote to variable okay and this is going to be effect spec handle okay as before we're going to mark this as instance editable and expose on spawn okay and what i want to do is on the end ability i'm going to say 
get ability system component and if this is valid we are going to remove the gameplay effect so I'm going to drag out from here say let's say remove game remove active gameplay effect with tags now we're going to specify this tag inside of the gameplay effect that we're creating which will pass on to this okay so let's let's leave this for now and another important thing is that we need this actor to be replicated so go to your class defaults and just check mark this replicates okay and I think this is it for this actor and now let's let's create a gameplay effect class to use so it's going to be a blueprint class of the type gameplay effect this one I'm going to call this ge underscore ultimate damage okay if I can spell this right okay open this up and I'm going to close this and open it again so it open up like this okay so now this is going to be a uh, ticking damage like every second we're going to apply like negative 10 to be held so I'm going to change the duration policy to as duration and I am going to change the period to 1 okay so every one second is going to apply the damage and it's going to be going for um, let's just say 10 seconds because it's an ultimate and for the damage what I'm going to do is just change my health and it's going to add a value of negative 10 on each second okay and another thing that we want to do is just destroy this actor after 10 seconds okay so to do that what you want to do is go to your class defaults and just search for initial lifespan this one so I'm going to change this to 10 seconds as well okay compile and save this and I'm going to plug this in from my ability so for the actor what I do is search for my bp underscore ultimate okay and for the instigator what I want to do is get owning actor from actor info and from here I'm going to say get instigator okay and for the spawn transforms I also want to spawn this at the feet of my player so I'm going to say get um, sorry make transform this one and I'm going to say um, get actor transform this one and just plug this in over here directly I think you can change this if you want to um, but uh, for the tutorial sake just to keep it simple I'm going to be using this and we also have this effect spec handle what I want to do is drag out from here say make outgoing gameplay effect spec and for this I'm going to search for my GE ultimate damage okay and we also want that this actor should not spawn multiple times if you remember we had our issue with our projectile so what I'm going to do is drag out from here and say as authority if only we have authority that is we are spawning this ability on server we we'll do this if we do not have an authority we're going to just simply cancel our ability okay like so compile and save this and going to our g ultimate damage what you want to do is add a tag for this so this is going to be our gameplay effect asset tag so what i'm going to do is add a new tag it's going to character dot ability dot ultimate dot damage effect okay compile and save this and now what I put on do is cancel this once we are out of this ultimate um, overlapping sphere so for this tag what I'm going to do is just search for that ultimate damage effect okay so once we are inside we're going to be um, receiving damage from this effect spec that is this class and once we are outside of that circle we'll be removing this gameplay effect from that character okay so going to our character class and I'm going to use my R ability um, what was the input name 
our ultimate okay this one and for this what I'm going to do is just, just copy and paste this like so and change this ability to GA ultimate okay I also want to grant this ability to my character so go to your gas gameplay ability initial abilities and GA ultimate okay this is an inherited variable just remember that okay so I think this is it and let's just test it out okay so we have spawned it and if I press my R key spawning that actor and it's damaging my other character so I move out of the sphere it's not damaging me anymore I go back in it's damaging me and after 10 seconds it's destroyed okay similarly what I can do is cast from this character and it's visible to both of these characters now you see this is spawned like how oh, mid-air but you can improve on that okay so yeah I think this is it we have finally created all of the abilities for our gating character you can work on the cosmetics and the visuals of this project so this is it for this video and I'll just add one or two more videos where we'll be debugging and understanding a few more things in depth and fixing a few things like we are not costing any mana while casting the abilities and we haven't talked about updating our abilities or like for example once we are inside the base from the game paragon you remember that our mana used to increase exponentially and why will be outside our mana used to increase slowly and health regen was very slow as well so we'll be looking at that in the subsequent videos but this is it for this video so thank you very much